If you decide to go after a career in screenwriting or any pursuit for that matter, you will move farther and faster if you have passion for your work. If you really love what you're doing, it will carry you through the hard times. Besides that, what I can recommend for students to do is to enjoy it and to keep writing and to love it. Because if you don't love it, you're not going to do it. This is a hard, ugly, nasty, rotten business. And it, it's a weeding business. It's a business that only people who must do it, do it. Only people who love it passionately do it. Um, Now's the time for you to find out if you have that passion. If you, and you probably suspect whether you do or not right now. You know that if you know that one of the things that you must do every single week is see a movie, that's pretty exciting. That means that you have that passion. Um, and I'm not just talking about just doing it because it's the only thing you like to do with your friends. I mean that you yourself have to go see movies. If you stay through the end of the movie and you watch all the credits because you're curious how they made that movie, you're one of these people. Figure all of that out now and save yourself some heartache if you're not because this is not a business for everyone. It looks very glamorous. It's only very glamorous if you're very big and you've made it and you're very successful. At that point, with every business, it's very glamorous. Um, this is a business that everyone thinks of themselves as some sort of master in because they can see movies. Everyone can see movies. Everyone has movies accessible to them. Not everyone can be a nuclear engineer because that's not accessible to everyone. Um, so you have to be sure, though, that if you're somewhere beyond the I like movies and really into the I love movies, I want to make movies part of my life, and if you want that, you're in great shape. There's nothing that'll hold you back. Even though there's a lot of negativity out there, even though there's a lot of negative feelings, people get a feeling of, well, who am I to do this? What, what makes me think I can do this? You have to believe in yourself. When nobody else will, you have to. The miracle and magic of this business is what you do yourself. It's not what somebody else does for you. You have to believe in yourself, and there's no reason why you can't, and here's why. If you stop and think about it, nobody in this business was born with screen credit. Nobody in this business was born in the job they're in. Yes, some have an advantage. They have friends and relatives in the business. That doesn't mean anything. They can fail just as well as anybody, and they often have. Some of them do succeed. Most people in this business who succeed the farthest came from out of this business. I did. Steven Spielberg did. George Lucas did. All the names you can think of off the top of your head, I would guarantee you 90, 95% of those people came from right where you're at now. It, all it takes is a start. We need to be replaced as time goes on. We're... we're not indelible. I mean, we're, we're not here forever. Somebody's got to replace us, so who's going to be there? Hopefully it's going to be you. We need incoming people all the time, so stick with it. Understand that you can be a part of this as much as the rest of us, and there's no reason why not. There's room enough for everybody in this business. It's up to you to function in this world if you're going to try to make a profession of it on the highest level possible. Um, uh, and to construct your ideas and, and the things that you write for the audience in the best way possible. It may, it may not always happen that way, but that's, that should be the ideal. The other thing is, um, in advising new writers, especially people in, in secondary schools now and high schools and, and that kind of thing, um, my advice is uh, that you really you need to do two things to be a writer. You need to feel you can't do anything else but write. Uh, and that has to be inside you. Uh, nobody can light that flame. That flame starts from a primal place that has nothing to do with logic. It certainly has nothing to do with making a living. Because if you have to ask yourself how long you're going to experiment before you hit it big, then you should get out immediately. That's another piece of advice. Uh, don't give yourself a time limit. Uh, 
if you're going to go for it, go for it. So after high school, you gotta you gotta um, start racking up life's experiences, and you have to learn your craft uh, while you have this fire burning inside you to be a writer. If you, in your future, become fortunate enough to work in the film or television industries, you are going to find that most of the material that is sold and produced is written by white males. The thing is, times are changing. If you believe in yourself, no matter who you are, and your work is good, and you have the courage to go for it, you can get in there. Over the years, Hollywood has sometimes been accused of being a little sexist when it comes to hiring women in various roles. Uh, g various guilds give out numbers every year about how many women directors worked last year or how many female writers worked and it's, it's a little disappointing to see that there may be some evidence of that but I think in the last few years uh, women uh, writers have really come to the fore and are gaining some much needed attention and people are recognizing that they have a lot to say and that women around the world want to hear what they have to say and go and see their films. Um, I encourage every girl to try and recognize her abilities and understand that, you know, yeah, I have something to say and I feel very passionate about it and confident in myself and in my, my uh, understanding of, of life and characters and um, Hollywood is very open now I, to, to hiring women because they bring to the script a different perspective, a sensitivity, uh, uh, an ability to understand emotions that I think have sometimes been um, passed by. I mean, the two, the, the sort of more successful films that I think you will all probably have seen, um, Harry Met Sally, was uh, written by Nora Ephron and uh, that really was a balancing of the, the sort of sexes in a way and, and made us understand uh, the, the, the characters so clearly and was, was, but it was also fair to both men and women and um, I, I think one, um, one of the other ones is probably more recently The Piano by Jane Campion who is such a brilliant uh, director and writer and she brought a, uh, a sort of a female perspective to her story that included sexuality but was, was a sensitive and very poignant tale and um, I think that people like myself we really encourage women to, to have a voice and say what they really feel because it's been a long hard road for a lot of women and and we feel that you know the time is right and I cannot be more encouraging to to girls to to try and not be intimidated by thinking that it's a male bastion and and there's no no way that you would have a chance because it's it it, it really is uh, has changed over the few years yeah, I, I think that um, being a, a young woman is not a bad thing at all. I think it's a good thing. Um, I think that if somebody tells you, my feeling is that when people have told me, oh, well, you should write a, a movie sp script or a, a TV script that, that features a, a young guy, and my feeling is, well, there are a million young guys out here writing those, so why don't I write a script that features a, a woman? Because that's what I know about. And when you think about it in terms of movies, look at, you know, Fried Green Tomatoes, Thelma and Louise. Um, I, I think that you can write things about your experience and they will get made if it's, if it's um, well written. And television, there's, there are lots and lots of women characters, but it's hard. I mean... You'll find that on TV staffs, a lot of times they'll talk about, you know, well, we have a woman on staff already. Um, of course, they would never say, oh, we have a man on staff already. And um, it just takes perseverance. Um, but I haven't really um, had any real bad experiences that way. Um, it's sometimes it's a little bit of a boys club, and you kind of have to figure out how you fit into that a little bit, either either becoming kind of, you know, uh, not exactly one of the boys, but uh, you have to kind of feel your way in a little bit. But I don't think because you're a woman you shouldn't try it. I think you definitely should try it. There need to be more of us out here.